I'm Ricardo Ramirez, Extension Entomologist at Utah State University, and today we're here at Greenville Research Farm in Logan, Utah. It's June 29th, 2016, and in this video fact sheet, I'll be discussing how to make pitfall traps to monitor billbug activity in the Intermountain West. Billbugs are an important pest in turf grass in the Intermountain West and other regions of the United States. In our region, billbug larvae are considered to be the damaging life stage as they feed within stems and also on roots. However, we can use adult billbug activity as a monitoring tool to make management decisions early in the field season. One of the ways that we can do this is by the use of pitfall traps. And so we'll start to make a couple of different designs of pitfall traps. So let's get started. The first pitfall trap design is pretty simple. It actually just consists of a couple of plastic cups. And so you'll need a trowel, a shovel, or a cup cutter in order to dig a hole. Uh, and that'll be the first step, making sure to dig the hole that's deep enough and wide enough to fit one of these, cu these cups snug uh, into that hole. Making sure that the lip of the cup is actually flush with uh, the soil surface. Uh, so as you backfill with soil and you start to pack that soil down, that you'll start to create a funnel effect that'll uh, make its way into the mouth of that cup. Now, once you've done that, with the second cup, you'll want to use some scissors to cut the lip of the cup off. And so that way you create a removable sleeve. So now this sleeve can actually fit into the pitfall cup pitfall trap and so the way that this works is you'll have uh, soil active insects and other arthropods crawling they'll fall into the trap and then you can check the sleeve regularly as those insects fall into this bill bugs in particular you can transfer the sample into a plastic baggie so one of the modifications that you can make to the simple uh, cup pitfall trap is to make some small holes at the bottom of the pitfall trap cups. That way any water uh, from rain or from sprinklers will actually drain out of the cup and that your samples won't be uh, flooded. Be aware that pitfall traps aren't specific to bill bugs, so they're going to collect a lot of different types of insects and arthropods like predatory ground beetles and spiders. So it's important to have some general knowledge of the target pest that you're looking for so that way you're making management decisions on that target pest. So the linear pitfall trap is a more complex trap because it has a lot more parts, but it also can uh, detect activity in a larger area. And so the linear pitfall trap consists of an irrigation box with a lid, also a PVC pipe. This one is two inches and also has a length of about three feet. You'll want an end cap to cap off one end and then a 90 degree angle elbow here uh, to actually be able to attach our pitfall trap cup and so this is the collection cup and it can either be a plastic food container or a small plastic coffee container uh, with the lid. They'll need some they'll need to be some special cuts made. Uh, the first one will consist of a, a hole as close to the top of the irrigation box so that you can fit the two inch pipe uh, into that irrigation box. You'll also need to use a drill uh, to drill out about a quarter inch to three eighths inch um, slit or groove down uh, the length of this pipe. Now I've left a couple of areas with uh, a PVC pipe. This one's about one inch and this helps to keep the structure of the pipe uh, with thinner walled PVC pipes. Sometimes you get some twisting. Now the final cut uh, will be made with the lid or on the lid of this uh, plastic container. And so this is so this will fit snug inside of the irrigation box and onto uh, the elbow of the PVC pipe. Because the linear pitfall trap is housed in an irrigation box, it's actually inconspicuous in recreational areas, so it actually fit in pretty well. To install the linear pitfall trap, you'll want to dig a hole deep enough in order to fit the irrigation box where the lid is just flush with the soil surface or nearly fl flush with the soil surface. In addition to that, the pipe will also need to be dug in to be level with the soil surface as well. A couple of things that you'll want to be sure of is that the slit within the pipe is facing upward and also that you have a slight tilt to the, to the PVC pipe so that any water that gets into the pipe will actually drain into the irrigation box. Then you'll want to backfill packing down that soil so that it's 
even or flush with the slit and also with the irrigation box lid. When you're selecting a place to put your traps, think about areas that you've had problems with bill bugs in the past, some hot spots in the roughs of, of golf courses. And so as you start to select those places, you can look at field edges, the roughs of golf courses, near refuge sites, bill bugs over winter as adults primarily in these uh, refuge sites and then will make their way into turf grass. So it's nice to have a trap parallel to that, uh, to that area. We often collect our traps about once a week, uh, particularly early in the season, spring, um, bill bugs become active as early as February in our region, but typically we see an increase in their activity from April to about June. The larvae of the bill bugs actually are lagged behind by about a week or two. It'll be important to pair adult monitoring with larval monitoring and also with predictive degree day models as they become available so that we can make a better informed decision on how to manage these insects as they become problematic.